Hello guys, welcome to my channel. If you are brand new, my name is Kristen Leanne and I am a cruelty-free YouTuber, so you will only find cruelty-free products on my channel. Um, today's video is featuring my UrbanDecay.com collection uh, exclusive. This is called, um, I was like, this is the sample one that I got, so it's like not got the name on the back, but this is called SGH. Um, so this is a beautiful mustard yellow kind of shade with a little bit of a floating pearl that's not really noticeable, but it adds a tiny bit of dimension. This was a shade that I absolutely could not part with. Um, I wanted to put this in the collection, so Urban Decay was nice enough to let me offer it as an exclusive on their website. I would like them to make this a permanent staple in the Urban Decay collection because I think it is such a glorious shade. Um, a lot of people will look at this shade and not really know what to do with it, which is why I wanted to do this video to show you a few different makeup looks that you can do with this shade. This shade is very unique. You can use it in so many different ways. You can use it all on its own is a mo monochromatic kind of a look. You can use this as a transition shade, a lid shade. This shade is like absolutely beautiful as a transition shade, especially with my Daydream palette that looks like this. These shades just go so freaking well together. So I also did a little tutorial um, with this shade for Pop Sugar. So if you head over to their YouTube channel, I'll link it in the description box below. That's there if you want a little bit of extra inspiration for this shade. Um, I'm gonna probably do th uh, three looks or so, try and make it as quick as possible, but I'm just gonna show you how um, I like to use this in different ways. So let me know below what you guys think of this mustard shade and let's go ahead and jump right into this. With this shade, I like to start off with just concealer on my eye pretty much, which is why it's creasing a little bit. So I'm just gonna show you guys first a little wing look with this. So let me get my brushes together. Let me get my life together. Just hold please. I'm using a Luxie 231 small tapered blending brush for this. And I, well actually first, you know what I'm gonna do? I lied. I'm gonna take my Daydream palette and take Lucy right here and just kind of place that in the crease. I'm gonna dab a little bit into Daydream while I'm at it and just place this directly in the crease, winging it out a little bit. This is gonna create like a little bit of a base and make it so that our lids or our crease area doesn't like crease up with the concealer and stuff. Then going back to our Luxie brush, I'm just gonna take that and just going to start placing this along the lash line. Taking a little bit smaller of a brush, um, this is a Royal and Langnickel Precision Liner Brush. It looks like this. I'm just going to place more pigment just to shape this out even more. And if you're not comfortable with like a giant wing, you don't have to do that. You could literally even just forego the wing entirely. My lips are so freaking chapped today. They're literally gonna fall off my face. I'm taking a little bit on that same brush and I'm just gonna take some, this is the Urban Decay B6 spray. And I'm just gonna spray that. All of my entire collection can be worn wet. Um, so it just intensifies the shade just a tiny bit. And I'm gonna concentrate that near the lash line. Take this little tiny Sigma detailed lip brush. I'm gonna dip in to eight right here from the Daydream palette. I don't know if I mentioned, but it's from my collection as well. And I'm basically just going to concentrate this, stipple it near the lash line, just to give that a little bit of definition. I'm also gonna take a little bit of SGH and put this on the lower lash line. I don't think I told you guys what it stands for. If you know, leave it in the comments below. But it stands for Sister Golden Hair, which is one of my favorite songs from the band America, Oldie But Goody. Dude, I need to pluck my eyebrows so bad. Out of control over here. It's the freaking Wild West. 
For fun, I'm gonna take Stay Gold right here from my Kaleidoscope Dream Palette, and then I'm gonna take Leo and place it right over top in the inner corner of the eye. You could totally skip this if you want, but it's just a little extra something something if you happen to have this palette or you know you're gonna get it. For this, I'm using a Luxie 217 pencil brush. I just got these overall things that are like made out of linen and they are the same mustard shade. I just got them from, um, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna put Leo on top. I'm just gonna leave this. I'm really liking the like monochromatic look. Um, I, I just got them from Urban Outfitters and they would match this perfectly. look number one super easy to do super easy to wear and like I said if you don't want such an elongated wing then you can definitely bring that in and this is just a super simple quick and easy look that's gonna add a unique um, look to your face look to your look I don't even know how to say that because it's like a just a really fun shade and it looks pretty sweet I'm in love with the shade this next one is kind of gonna be like two looks in one, just because I'm gonna start here and I'm just gonna put some of SGH on the lower lash line. And then once the lower lash line's finished, that could actually be your entire look if you wanted it to be. As you can see, there's hardly any fallout too. It blends out really nicely. It is very pigmented. There's a tiny bit of kickback in the pan, but not too much. Um, I mean, pretty much any pigmented eyeshadow is gonna have just a little bit of that. I'm gonna take a 24-7 uh, Glide-On Pencil by Urban Decay in the shade Whiskey. There's something in my freaking eye. A hair is just trying to attack this side of my face like all morning. Hi, sweetie. There's a, Leo, there's a Leo down here. He's so dirty, he's about to go get groomed. Look at his nasty eyes. Look at your nasty eyes. Say hi to everybody. I'm gonna do a makeup look on you today. You got some dark circles. You want down now? Okay. Leo, everybody. If you want to see more of him, subscribe to my pet channel. It's brand new. It's linked in the description box below. You know what to do. So for the lower lash line, I'm taking two little types of glitter. These are great if you have never really worked with glitter. They stick, they stay. There's still more hair on my eye. Um, they don't fall everywhere. They're amazing. These are the heavy metal glitter liners by Urban Decay. This one's in Midnight Cowboy and Distortion. I'm just gonna kind of like, mix these together for the lower lash line. Um, actually, I lied. I'm just gonna do distortion. I think that looks really good. It's the green and it's like reflecting with SGH and it looks really pretty. So this is a nice little super easy look that's kind of the midway of the actual look I was going to do, but this is something great if you're not super comfortable with bright crazy colors or tons of glitter, but it is like a little nice pop and it definitely looks like you got some makeup skills because of the fun colors and the glitter. So to continue this look, I'm going to be going into the Daydream palette and I'm gonna be taking Lucy over here and putting this over my entire eyelid area. And this is an Urban Decay Tapered Blending Brush. I'm gonna take this to kind of buff out that crease as well. The shades in this palette are so nice. They blend out so well and for like mattes, they're just such a dream to work with. See what I did there? I feel like everyone pretty much needs this palette. It's small, it's compact. I swear this is not an infomercial, but I'm a little bit biased. You know, we worked really hard on this collection and I absolutely love this palette. I'm gonna take a little bit of Daydream and Eight and I'm going to just kind of dip back and forth and place this directly in the crease. And we could stop there, but why would we stop there when we have SGH? I'm gonna take a bit of that on this brush and kind of utilize this as a transition shade. There is the second, well, kind of like second, third-ish look using SGH. Hopefully you guys like this one. Now we're gonna move into a bit more colorful of a look. So we're gonna be calling on the Kaleidoscope Dream Palette to help us out. This one's gonna be a little bit more dramatic, a little bit more colorful. For those of you that want to see how you can use it in conjunction with a Kaleidoscope Palette and add some blues and some fun stuff in there. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get started with this next one. I'm gonna be just going in with SGH and I am going to just kind of lay this down 
to start our transition shade situation. I'm gonna kind of wing this one out a little bit. Again, like with this look and any look, you can really just kind of tailor it to your needs and wants and like what you feel comfortable with. So if you're not comfortable with this going up so high, you can definitely just make the adjustments necessary so you feel comfortable. But also remember, makeup, like you you can wipe it off. So I, I do it every day still almost where I wipe off something I'm like, eh, that doesn't look so great. So don't ever forget that you can just like literally wipe everything off and start again. Like no one's forcing you to go out in public with it or anything. So just have fun with it. I literally just noticed that this palette says zigzag on this shade and this shade is actually called TRM. This is actually my sample palette. Anyways, um, so we're gonna be taking TRM right here and I'm gonna grab some of this onto that Luxie brush that we've been using this whole time. And you know what I'm gonna do actually? I'm going to take a little bit of concealer so this has something to grab onto and just kinda wash this over my eyelid with my finger. And then I'm just going to place this down over pretty much the whole eyelid. Now I'm gonna kinda work whatever's left over on my brush up into the crease. Going back to our brush with SGH on it, I'm just gonna come in here and kinda smoke this out. Now I'm gonna wipe off what's on my brush here and then we're gonna be going in with a little bit of Leo, which is a beautiful duochrome from the Kaleidoscope Dream Palette. Looks like this right here. Just gonna get some of that on my brush and I'm just going to kind of sweep it over this area in here. I'm then gonna take this Royal and Langnickel Smudger Brush and I'm gonna take Leo again and I'm going to put this on the brow bone area just to give it a little snazzy highlight. I can't find a yellow liner in here. I'm taking a Luxie 217 pencil brush and I'm gonna take SGH to the lower lash line just gonna pop this in here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this Essence Blue Liner and put this right in my lash line. And going in with TRM and a tiny little brush, I'm just going to lay that over top and just smudge it out a bit. Here it is guys, here is the third and, well, third, fourth-ish final look. I hope you guys enjoyed kind of seeing how I like to use SGH. Hopefully it inspired you guys to go out and grab it for yourself or if you already have it, then hopefully it gave you a little bit of inspiration on how to use it. Um, let me know what you guys think of this uh, mustard shade SGH, does it speak to you? Love it or leave it, let me know in the comments below. I will chat with you guys there. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.